Boom, another day, another vlog. Just kidding, only the second day. I haven't even edited the first one, but I gave my laptop to my little bro for school. So I'm gonna have to edit on my phone. So it's gonna be trash editing, but I mean, not like my editing was good on the laptop by the way, but it's Monday morning. About to get my morning routine going, AKA my AG1, my protein. Um, just packed up all my clothes because I'm about to hit the gym at work. Um, have a little root. I have a little, a little routine at work nowadays. I like to get into work early. I mean, somewhat early. I work, get myself my little coffee, my little breakfast. You know, grind out a good amount of work. Um, take a little break. I don't, I don't lift for very long. My lifts are probably like 30, 45 minutes, if that. And then they have a shower there, which is super clutch. So. Just show up, lift, shower up, and uh, get ready, go back uh, to the desk, work a little while, hit some lunch, finish off my work day and come back. About to do jujitsu later, take this dude on a, you know, W-A-L-K vibe. Can't say it because he'll get hype. But uh, yeah, let's get this uh, these drinks going. Boom, rocking the double bag. Got my clothes in here, my laptop. Got the sneakers I'm gonna rock right there. Kra -ta -ta -ta. Now let's get this AG1 popping. I got this AG1 little water bottle that uh, was sent to me by Athletic Greens. That shit's annoying as hell to wash. And I usually just use this small one. So we all get this popping. Boom, grab that cap. Pow. And pop it out. Oh, get that AG1, the vitamins. Hit that creatine. I used to drink this. I haven't drank it uh, in a while, actually, because I wasn't as consistent lifting. Then I started getting consistent lifting, but I wanted to see results without creatine versus with creatine. Um, so I'm going to start taking it again today. So get that, get that. I need my protein. Damn, what flavor should I do? Because I'm not about to hit that double scoop again because that was insane. And I'm about to have breakfast. So I think maybe one and a half scoops, you know? I'll get like, what is that, 45 grams of protein? So I might just do one and a half, actually mix that up. You know what it do? Boom. Boom. We're set up, dog. Uh, probably drink, drip, blah, 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 blah. Probably drink it. Oh my gosh. Probably drink this right now. Walk Coe's outside using the restroom. Sip on this on my way in. Oh, don't have like a good protocol for my creatine. I've heard five milligrams, 10 milligrams, two and a half milligrams. So, you know, I'll keep it right in the middle. This is five milligrams right here. Two and a half for two capsules is what the serving size says. So let's see if I get swole off this. All right, here we go. It's work o'clock. Oh, shit. God damn, that shit kind of hurt. But, um, boom, heading out to the office. Got my, jeez, blocking the camera. Got my protein, protein, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, Not a stick today, which is good. Um, but yeah, let's head into this office. Um, Loki a little tired, but you know, nothing a little caffeine can't fix. So let's get it. Win today. I already started off winning today. Got some stuff done at the crib that I needed to get done. Um, now it's time to go win work, go win the workout, go win in jujitsu. Oh, we winning. We're winners over here. Let's get it. I'm still kind of full from last night, so I don't think I'm going to do breakfast. I'm going to just do the protein shake, coffee. Good to go. You know, we hitting the stairs. Step in the elevator. Get them steps in, dog. Made it. Let's get to work. Oh, got my little cortado. Grinding. You know what time it is. About to get this lift on. Like I said, didn't have any breakfast this morning, just my protein shake. 
about to hit a nice little, actually, it's Monday. So, I might do an upper body specific, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I'll figure it out once we're out there. Let's get it. You already know, your boy got it done. Ended up hitting some legs. Sheesh. Dying. Wet t-shirt contest type vibe, you know what I'm saying? But, whew, better hop in the shower. Gotta cool off a little bit. Whew, ended up hitting squats, deadlift, straight leg squat, uh, deadlift, jump squat, or box jumps, Bulgarian split squats, calf raises. That was it, I'm dying. Look at this hat dripping, it's hard work, you know what I'm saying? But about to shower up, finish off the day of work, go hit jits later. So I'll catch y'all soon. Boom, done. Showered up. You know, we had to do wet hat, dry hat. Let's go. Fucked up my knuckle. But. Time to pack this all up, get back to work. In that situation, you should just be Like, if that was, like, for you, like... Boom, and just like that, we back home. I feel like I'd be hella whispering in the clips of me, like, at work at the office. Because I'm like, man, like, I feel so weird talking to the camera, you know. But uh, I had a late meeting today. Well, late for me. Um, and just got home. About a, I have jujitsu in about an hour and a half. I'm low-key feeling dead. I hit a, I don't usually go heavy. I mean, not that it was that heavy, but it was heavy for me. I usually just, ever since I thought I was, had gotten a hernia, I cut back to like 135 pounds on every deadlift, squat, everything. But it was just getting, I don't know. I felt like I wasn't getting good work. So uh, I actually went up today. Not too crazy, just 185. Um, and... It was feeling good. It was feeling, it was going up easy. I was like, man, maybe I should just go up to 225. But I was like, nah, you know what? I ain't going, I ain't going to risk it. Um, but I was feeling dead because it was a, a full leg day. I usually do full body days. Um, but since I'm starting off the week strong, I'm like, ah, let me just break it up into splits. Um, but I got home and I got some, some stuff in the mail. Got some, uh, some sweats. Uh, a while back, the, the, the sweats that I usually wear to work out are Beyond Yoga brand. I got them at Sierra Supply Co. And they're so cozy that I wanted to get some more pairs. And I kept going to Sierra Supply to see if I could find some. And they never had any in stock anymore. So I was like, let me check them out online. Bro, these yoga pants, yoga sweats, whatever are like 130 bucks online. I was like, there's no way I'm paying 130 bucks. I got them for like 50 bucks, which was still, no, like 60 something. And I was like, man, should I get them for that price? You know, but whatever, I laid off. Um, but the other day I just happened to go on their site because my sweats are finally, like they are starting to rip. So I was like, man, I need some more sweats. I wear sweats every day. So let me see what I can find. And they actually had a few colors on sale for 63 bucks. I was about to pick them up, but I was like, nah, nah, let me, let me wait. Cause Labor Day weekend's coming up. Let's see if they add a little additional discount and boom, they did. They, uh, ended up coming out to 50 bucks a pair, which is still a hefty price. I guess in this economy, maybe not as bad, but still it hurt. It hurt buying these, but I needed them. So I'm about to open those up. Let's see what they're looking like. Oh, here we go. We got to beyond yogas paperwork i guess and kra ta 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 you know we got that blue we got that green and we got that dark blue too what's up um i was gonna get this other little like brownish pair that were hella sick but they sold out before i could get them so but yeah look at these like 128 dog i get it they're nice like i'm wearing a pair right now they're hella nice, my favorite sweats. But 128, dog, y'all taxing. But I guess that's how a lot of these fitness brands are nowadays. Maybe not that exaggerated, but I ain't gonna lie. The quality is legit. So I'm pretty hype on these. 
Probably about to rock a new pair tomorrow. Oh, they ain't ready for me, bro. Sheesh. Just know. If you see me in these pants, it's about to be a jitsuation. About that time. Let's get it. Boom. So I hit that, uh, hit a little shower. You know, you can't be the smelly person in jujitsu when you're rolling with people. So I hit a little shower, brush my teeth, and it's about that time to get going. So get an hour of jujitsu in, come back, shower up again, because you don't want to get no staph infections. Then go take Cole on a little walk, and then hopefully edit up that other video. We'll see what's popping. Um... I need to edit it, so I'll probably edit it and upload it. So if you see it, just know this is, you know, this is gonna be a second video. So, but that's the plan. So let's go. Boom, we made it. Boom. Just like that, we got it done. Got it in. Got it popping. Eyes a little red. Pretty sure I got some uh, some hair in there. Rolling against a like, homie with long hair, and I felt it go in my eye. I think I might have his hair in my eye actually. But uh, about to go home, shower up. Oh, um, just hopped out the shower. Got a little bit of bruising right there, and uh, not to flex, you know, like just showing off the bruise. But uh, about to go take Ko out on a walk. Eyes getting a little better. Um, and afterwards, I'm still debating, probably going to hit up a little protein bro team. And then I have some leftovers from the party last night. So I'll probably hit some of that up. Man, it's pretty much bedtime. So let's hit this walk before it gets too, actually, luckily, I actually kind of like walking in the dark. So, uh, but sun's setting right now. So we're going to go get after this walk. Oh, we out here. It ended up getting dark. Don't know if y'all can hear that music, but there's like a concert going on. But we out here on this walk, getting after it. Yeah, I was mad confused when I heard of the music. I thought it was my neighbor bumping some jams in his whip or something. And uh, <laughs> I walked out, and that it sounds like way louder by the crib than now that I'm closer, probably because of just the acoustics of the whole park or whatever. But uh, at first I thought, I was like, damn, does my neighbor, have, is he bumping a speaker, like a full-blown speaker outside or something? Because it sounded so loud and clear. And then <laughs> I kept walking and I was like, oh, wait, that ain't coming from his house. And then I remembered that uh, on my way home at this little spot down the street. Cole, come on, boy. What are you doing, dude? At the spot down the street, they were setting up a stage and everything. So and I was like, how weird to have a live band on a Monday night. But then I looked at the date. It's probably a 9-11 memorial. So. But yeah, we out here getting this walk in. And this will be the night right here. <laughs> 